So describe what hyperbolic tapering is and is that what you think should be recommended most? It is. And so let's say you're taking 100 milligrams of Zoloft. You reduce the dose by 25 milligrams as your first step. That's already kind of a big drop. But in any case, let's say that's what you did. Not at all uncommon. So you go from 100 milligrams to 75 milligrams. That is 25% drop in the dose. Now let's say you wait a couple of weeks and the person seems to be doing okay. And then you drop the dose again by another 25 milligrams. Now you've gone from 75 to 50. That's a 33% drop in the dose. If you go down by the same number of milligrams every time you reduce the dose, the percentage of the total that you're dropping is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what the brain cares about. <laughs> the brain cares about what percentage you're dropping it by, not by how many milligrams you're dropping it by. So in the beginning, it can feel like a walk in the park. You're dropping the dose and everything's going fine. But if you don't slow it down towards the end, you can often end up in really serious withdrawal. So this is very commonly not appreciated.